And as we mentioned, Milwaukee Public Schools will be closed tomorrow because of the cold. And that means thousands of parents are going to have to find someplace else for their kids to go. We know that for some of our kids, MPS is a great place for them to be every day because they're warm, they're able to be fed, and that's something that's important. But we also have to take a look at what weather conditions look like. So those are factors that we take a look at when making a decision. I'd be smart in this yeah, cold weather. really. And schools in Kenosha were closed today. Yeah, but Racine schools actually stayed open. Julia Fellow is live in Racine with that part of our coverage. Julia? And Mike and Carol, I spoke to district leaders here in Racine. They said it just wasn't cold enough for them to decide to close here in this area. Meanwhile, in Kenosha, they decided to close down because of these dangerous wind chills yesterday. Kenosha schools look like a ghost town. You have some students who would be able to get a ride to school, but we also have many who wouldn't, and so they'd be walking in the cold. Administrators were still required to brave these dangerous Arctic temperatures, along with custodial staff who made sure the pipes didn't freeze today. Teachers were given the day off. Ready? Oh, good. It was a negative 27 wind chill when we visited Racine this morning. When it's negative 10 or below wind chill, recess stays inside for Ms. Matera's class. You can get frostbite because it's too cold. It looks very deceiving because outside, of course, it looks sunny, but they, it's very cold and they love the snow. So giving an opportunity to create a snowman inside or something like that helps. Kenosha Unified School Leaders are hoping to get up and running soon to get this new year back to a smooth start. And back out here live at Jefferson Lighthouse Elementary, actually many students were being let in in the afternoon time. Many of them told their parents they wanted to come to school. They didn't want to miss it. Attendance was good today, but we'll see if any of more schools close tomorrow after Milwaukee Public Schools announced all of their schools will close. Reporting live in Racine, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Refreshing to see kids want their yeah. education. Thank you, Julia. And